Hello, fellow users of the internet. My name is Aiden, and welcome back to Hastencraft. Aw, oh, yeah. <laughs> back on the Hastencraft server, of course. Actually run by Benji. This Optifine install is not working at all. I swear to God, I followed all the instructions. Rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. So I'm afraid we're going to have to play on Tiny. Uh, which is annoying because the plan today was to do um, cartography. Which requires being able to see long distances. <laughs> really, to make it very interesting. But oh well. Where's that map that I made? It is just here. Map 4. Unfortunately, we can't ride the horses because there's no um, crafting recipe for saddles. Which kind of sucks. I mean, fix your game. Come on. <laughs> I have everything I need. I'm going to stick that on. I'm going to throw a load of toot away into these chests, I think, as well. Alrighty. Um, is it getting dark? No, it's not. It's really difficult to tell. <laughs> With a uh, tiny render distance on. But I'm afraid there's nothing I can do. My computer sucks ass. But anyway, on with business. Uh, this way. I'm gonna go, I think I'm going to go like around that way. Not that I can really tell because the map moves when I move the site so I can't point at it. Um, but if I if I pause, I'm gonna go like around that way, in that direction, and then I'm gonna go up and then across, and then yeah, you'll see what I mean. So yeah, I have um, this episode is gonna be mostly just me waffling, <laughs> and maybe I'll cut out the bits where it's really boring. Uh, use whatever I talk about in other episodes. Well, it's also really boring. Um, I'm not sure that makes sense, but I'll think of something. Uh, so we're just coming up to a river here. Rivers are quite cool. Rivers are relevant to geography. I'm back at school now. Today was my first day. I'm doing geography now. Ha ha! <laughs> See how it links in, my good fellows? Yeah. So I'm doing geography AS and A2 both in one year. Um, this, yeah, this is going to be a lot of work, but it also means a, a majority of my timetable is geography. <laughs> it's kind of a bit crap. I'm really not, kind of not that interested in geography. It was just a thing that I'm doing as uh, I we don't really want to be just doing two subjects. Um, so yeah. It also mean I have no free time. As as mentioned in a previous episode, I do now have a job. Uh, this job is Monday to Friday evenings after school, um, five till eight thirty, and it'll take that time between finishing school, finishing school and five to get there really. Um, now this is problematic because it means I don't I won't have much time free with you know lack of free periods and whatever. Uh, the only time I'll have is the weekends and that's usually when my sister is here and my sister is a right cow and doesn't allow me to um, make any noise. And you know, back background noise is the worst thing ever in a YouTube video, so I'm not too keen of that on that. This means that I'm afraid um, I may have to stop doing YouTube for a while, um, at least not as regularly. Anyway, just kind of a thing as when I can do it, which really kind of sucks because I've started to really love doing this. <laughs> Uh, it's starting off as a way of boosting my confidence. It's kind of become a major thing 
Oh, I don't know what's going on. All the icons on my desktop just kind of freaked out. I went blank. Uh, yeah, not sure. Oh, squid. Squid. Oh, uh, oh. Oh, nearly. Oh, nearly. Uh, yeah. So it, ma it makes me sad because I'm not going to have any time. And, well, I could kind of do it at the weekends. But firstly, I don't want to be doing this just all weekend. I want to have some time of, you know, being able to watch other people's YouTube videos. Um, as that's the thing I do. Um, yeah. There's a land bridge over here. I don't know. And, I, uh, well, I could get my mum to tell my sister to just deal with me doing this. But my mum's kind of very against me doing this. So that's not going to happen. Um, which makes me sad. Makes me very sad. Because, you know, every every kid, no matter how, how old they are, even if they're actually a full-grown adult, they, they need their mum. They need the support of their mum. And uh, I kind of haven't got mine at the moment. What's going on there? That's interesting. Interesting. We have to make this place um, a place to come back to. Chickens and pigs. We shall set these. Yeah, we we'll definitely come back to this place because we need to get animals for our little farm, which is at home. Uh, yeah, I can see a snow biome just coming up near here. Oh, some sugar cane. I've got plenty of that. I've got like a whole chest of it. Is this a snow biome directly next to a desert? Oh dear. Well, this is this sort of thing is being fixed in the next update, which is kind of inter interesting. Uh, they say that they're going to fix the huge oceans and like the deserts being right next to snow biomes. But I'll be honest, I quite like the large oceans. You know, you get like a big continent. Sorry, I just needed to scratch my hand there. Like a big continent, sep two big continents separated by a big ocean. You know, that's how it works. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I'm going to grab this coal. Right, coal grabbed. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, you don't just get one big landmass with lots of different separated oceans in the middle of it. I mean, fair enough, you don't want to be in a boat for <laughs> for ages just holding down W to find a new bit of land. But, I don't know, I quite like having the different separate continents. It's, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, people people are going to change it. People are obviously going to disagree with me, but you know what? I like disagreeing. <laughs> I'm a politics student, remember? Um, yeah, I think it's getting dark, isn't it? Oh dear. Oh dearie. Well, we're going to be in the middle of a desert, which is possibly the worst place to possibly be. Um, when it gets dark. Come on. I've only got a little bit more up here, though. Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to have to dig a hole, aren't I? Up in the corner here. Well, that'd be good, actually. I could leave, like, markers, which is in all the corners of this map. Which is like, hey, it's a corner of a map. Woo! I look, a load of sheep. Okay, well, I'm going to set up a a hole here. And we're back. Um should be daytime. Yeah it is, okay. <laughs> Let's get out of here. 
Uh, I've made a little pillar here. With, I'm going to put torches around actually. Torchy, torchy, torchy. Get get the one off the top. Need to be there. There we go. Um, I want to put a sign on it. Do I have any wood? I didn't bring any bloody wood. Well, that's no good. Um, I don't know why I put it down anyway. <laughs> that was very stupid. This is a pretty awesome mountain. Should we have a look? Just really quickly. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> that stretches off almost into render distance. Actually, it seems to be running quite well on normal now. I wonder how long that will last. But yeah, we're off in this direction. Do, do, do. I'll come back and put a sign on that indicating that it's the corner of this map uh, at some point. <laughs> it's only roughly the corner of the map anyway, so it's not it's not that necessary. Hop, hop, hop. So, uh, current events. Um, done in my life. Foreign policy, I guess the only thing to talk about is Syria. <laughs> Okay, well, opinions, 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 and I'm opinionated at the best of times. Well, it, I'll be honest, it all sounds an awful lot like um, Iraq, from what I've heard. I mean, I wasn't alive during the Iraq war, but <laughs> it sounds an awful lot like what I've heard of the Iraq war. You know, America has gone, oh, they're using... Uh, the chemical weapons and blah, 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 and whatever, and they're trying to make a moral case for it. I mean, in Iraq, it was because they invade Iraq invaded Kuwait, but that's scary. Um, but this time, it's because Syria might be using. Okay, here we go. Here comes the. <laughs> I'll have to turn that down again. Because the Syrian Assad regime. <laughs> Which has an also an awful lot like ass hat. I'll be honest. <laughs> Think of that, what you will. Um, but yeah, it's the U.S. not waiting for a uh, UN the UN tests findings, which would be a smart thing to do, really, seeing as otherwise we're going to get in trouble. <laughs> with the UN and uh, you know that's never good trade sanctions and whatever um, and basically they tr uh, the American government tried to get Britain involved as they always bloody do these days it's like <laughs> what it's basically like is you got us involved in the second world war now we're going to get you involved in every single conflict on the planet <laughs> um, yeah, and basically we, our Houses of Parliament, democratically decided no. Even though our Prime Minister, Dave Cameron, um, supported it. But let's be honest, nobody likes David anymore. Nobody likes him! <laughs> Might just be me and my friends, and we're all kind of liberal, but mostly, kind of, I don't know. We're a political bunch, so it's it's quite interesting. Um, but yeah, we a lot of British people didn't don't like the idea of going to war in Syria, because I mean we've only just left Iraq, uh, we're still in Afghanistan, and we really don't want to be le going into another war in Syria. It, well, in the Middle East. Because it would it would be bad, and we'd be there for another you know fifteen years and where or whatever. I think I'm slightly going in circles and waffling, but um, you know standard stuff of someone who's not written any notes before he talks about a really sensitive subject. Um, I watched the speech that Obama gave a couple of weeks ago. It might have been only not been that long ago. And he did make, he did raise a f few good points. I mean, we set the rules of no use of chemical weapons after this, well, after the First World War, really. Um, 
and for us to not be enforcing those rules kind of makes us look weak and yeah I mean the big supposedly powerful nations looking weak is never a good thing for you know <laughs> when rogue nations are around um which is North Korea this looks like a fairly dangerous valley See, they used to have a little button that you could just press one button and it would and it would do this. Rather than having to go into option Oh bloody hell. There we go. <laughs> uh Yeah. Hmm. Right. Uh now then. Now then. Oh I can go around that way. Okay. Maybe. Can I? I can go that way. Okay, I'll go that way. I'll switch it back. <laughs> but yeah, there's... There's opinions. I mean, it's happened before. Where Britain has decided to not go to war with... On the side of the United States. Um, you know, Vietnam. And <laughs> the US hated us for it, for it. But, you know, everybody hates us. Oh, oh. Tea drinking bastards that we are. <laughs> Tea drinking imperial bastards. Because <laughs> we did used to have the biggest army that. Not, not army. We had a fairly small army actually. Because we're an island nation, have no need for it. But. Yeah. We had the largest empire that the world has ever seen. I mean, colonial, so it's kind of cheating, but, you know, still. <laughs> Bigs. Uh, the recent news. Uh, uh, Kepler. The Kepler Space Telescope is dead, everyone. I should watch the news more, shouldn't I? Wait a minute. If I'm gonna be if I'm if I'm if I'm gonna be doing this for another five minutes, I'm just gonna go and look at a uh, a news website and find something that I can talk about for five minutes. <laughs> and here we are. Uh, so I found an awesome, pretty awesome thing. Uh, basically, as soon as I went, I just oh this is cool. I just went straight for um, Steve Shiv's channel. Uh, <laughs> uh, the uh, and now for the good news series that he does. Um, and there's this thing where um, they've created living human brain tissue from stem cells. I mean, this is this is pretty awesome. <laughs> um, because you know Alzheimer's being quite bad and whatever it being a disease that my uh, I don't know what to call him. <laughs> mum's boyfriend's dad. Step. My mum's boyfriend's stepdad. Or something has. Moo! Um, yeah, and, it, and it's, it's pretty bad, and it's really sad. So it would be pretty good to get some research on it. Um, now, there is also a controversy with stem cells, you know, the standard one. <laughs> the uh, standard one um, of ethnic, whatever. Um, you know, apparently it's it's wrong to for whatever reasons. I, I don't I don't see why it could possibly be wrong. I mean, they're cells that haven't been given a purpose yet, and we're giving them a purpose. Um, I mean, yeah. I don't know. I don't understand. Religious people. <laughs> no, I understand religious people, but I don't understand people that will go against, you know, the furthering of, oh, what's happened here? Of anything, just because they like to, well, hold things back. I mean, why should we be held back? We are the the, the most intelligent species that we know to have ever. Existed. We are the most successful. 
and why should we be held back by things like that, which really kind of don't matter. And of course, drawing the line between don't matter and, yeah, whatever, it's a matter of opinion, but, I mean, it, it doesn't, it's, it's a cell, it's, I mean, it can, you can do so much by, like, you know, being, <laughs> I am a giant jellyfish of anger, giant squid of anger, I meant, but, yeah. <laughs> you could do so much with like a few cells and yeah they probably do usually they probably are usually embryonic stem cells but one or two cells from an embryo kind of isn't going to make a lot of difference um, I mean it doesn't because like no, the the two cells that eventually become the several trillion that are, that make up you, you know, one, you know, a, a small collection of them. Is yeah, you know, I, I don't know. Maybe an embryo is lost, but let's be honest. Every time you uh, <laughs> do things, several billion potential children are lost. You know. There's something like four terabytes in every ejaculation. Four terabytes of information. <laughs> yeah. So that's a lot of sperm. A lot of potential children. <laughs> uh, I like controversy. It, it, uh, it makes me happy. It makes me very happy. Right, I think we're going to wander back to the house now. Ow. Ow. That bloody hurt. My ankles, my poor little ankles, they are broken. And now I'm going to die. Uh, if only stem cell research was a bigger thing and less controversial, then someone would be able to fix my ankles. <laughs> uh, right, is this where that cave was? Might be. No, I think that's like just over that way a bit, where my cursor is pointing on the map. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've joined it up in a big sort of wibbly thing. I think I'll do that bit in the middle, uh, off camera, because episode's getting rather long now, and I think... I've just been droning on <laughs> about stuff a lot of people will not be interested in. What is it? No, it's a different one. Um, so yeah, um, this is probably going. Oh crap! Going to be the the last episode for a while. I'm afraid, guys. Ah, oh, sh balls! Oh, boulder dash. Because <laughs> I'm British. But yeah, as I was saying, this is probably going to be the last episode for a, a little bit. I'm afraid. Um, I uh, hate to say it, but I'm not going to have time with school and work and whatever. You you may see like a few episodes from from me a month. I'm thinking of playing uh, Civilization Five with a couple of friends. Which should be fun, and I think I'll record it, and that game goes on for ages, so I'll get quite a few episodes out of that. Um, but yeah. Otherwise, I don't know. I don't know. It makes me, it makes me sad. Oh, we're back at Benji's. Yeah, Benji's done all this with his farm. He's making it all fancified. His house is still shit. <laughs> Yeah. So here we are, guys. Back, back where we started. Um, thank you for watching, and thank you for supporting uh, over the last few weeks. Uh, I re I really appreciate it, like so much. It's it's unbelievable. 
Like, even even though uh, my most popular video has 18 views, I don't even care. That's that's really awesome. Um, <laughs> of course, it's an episode with Hazel, so yeah, brilliant. Um, but I don't I don't even care because I I just love doing this, and I can't wait to get back to it. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed, please remember to hit like, and if you want to see more, please remember to hit subscribe. My name is Aiden, and I shall see you when I see you. Which might, might be a while away, but yeah. Goodbye!